Welcome back. The last few weeks, months, I took a little sabbatical and now I am ready to resume my weekly commentary and reflection on the lectionary, uh, the readings of their lectionary for the coming, coming Sunday. And for this week, uh, we're looking at a text from the Gospel according to Luke, commonly known as Jesus' baptism. And this text as a whole uh, brings a very interesting question, which is, why did Jesus need to be baptized? Because, you see, traditionally in the Christian faith, uh, baptism is a rite of admission to the church, is understood that we use water to wash away the sins of a that we have commit or wash away our fallen state and to re-emerge or re to be rebirth to a new life um still if jesus is the son of god if he's the messiah the one that god has sent us why does it has to be baptized by John the Baptist, who is a prophet, an important prophet, but just another human being? And many try to answer that question. Is he try just to do like everybody else? You know, not to stand out of the crowd right away. Is still his beginning of his ministry. Is it a sign of humility, even if he is understood as someone blameless, he will still do as everybody else. Uh, does he want to teach his, the people around him and his disciples for, for, you know, immediate disciple and ultimately us, uh, what we should do and how we should do it? Well, maybe um, a way to look at it is not necessarily in what happen itself during the baptism or the the uh, act of baptism but what happened right after jesus baptism because the text says the heavens open the holy spirit descended upon him in a bodily form of dove and a voice from heaven is heard so maybe jesus baptism could be viewed and understood as a moment when the holy, when the divine breaks into our world and also our lives. And today, well, as a minister, some people might ask, and that's okay, asking question, why should I get my children baptized? What will they gain? Uh, is it like a VIP pass for heaven or, or you know, um, and especially in the case of children, because the children did not ask for baptizing. In fact, they, when we baptize them as baby, they have no clue what's going on. <laughs> let's, let's be serious. They, they haven't asked for it. And it's hard to understand what kind of sin a six years six months old baby can do you know crying all night long is not a sin so so why do we still try to baptize those children well maybe it's one of those moments i often notice new parents coming with this new little life in their existence they're happy and Often, it's a moment when we stop from our crazy and hectic lifestyle and every demand, and especially when it's the first kid and we barely have a clue what we do and we barely sleep. We stop for a few moments just to acknowledge that the miracle of life, <laughs> that this little being is special is unique is precious and this acknowledge the preciousness of this new journey that is beginning 
maybe to acknowledge the beauty, the holy, the divine that have break in our world. And maybe that's why I wish to wish you for 2019 that is beginning. That you will take time, that will you will make time to stop. Even just a few seconds, wherever you are, and feel the moment. Allow yourselves to be touched, maybe move, to be open to this God that really looking for opportunity to break in our world, to break in our lives, our existence, who knows, maybe change us. That's what I wish you for this new year. And thank you once again for being there. Like I said, I'm resuming my weekly uh, reflection. So until next time, I remain Stéphane Vermette, the lectionary man. And I want to say to you, take care of yourself and bye-bye.